Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome back to the world of Archspore. Yes, it's me, One Wolf, and I have decided to bring back the world of Archspore for a one-time special event. It's my 2,000 subscriber special. Actually, there's 2,100, 2,100 subscribers. Um, I've actually been away for two months. I haven't played Minecraft for two months. The last thing I did was join up with Armitage, Mbot, Cerberus Black, UK Vamp, uh, a couple other guys that can't... Oh, Disdain. That's one of the names, Disdain. Uh, a couple other guys. I can't quite remember all of their names. And we played some Ultra Hardcore on Armitage's Shanks at Dawn server. It was lots of fun, but... Everybody died off really quickly, and I think people just, or the the players kind of got bored, and there's only been a few actual uploads. So that series kind of died out, but me, oh man, I have been doing some crazy stuff. Um, started with work, primarily work pretty much just dried up. Um, I work on a contract base basis, and if I don't get new contracts, which I feel it's not my job to go out and market our business to get more work, I'm usually so busy with new projects and everything that, uh, yeah, let's start taking a look around here. Get my mouse worked out. Okay, so this is my old world. Wanted to show everybody around. I uh, wanted to let you guys know that I was about ready to throw in the towel on the whole YouTube thing and just give up and quit. But when I took a look the other day and saw how many views and subscribers I had in the time that I was gone, I was just uh, speechlessly surprised. It's just amazing at what has been going on around my channel while I've been gone. Um, trying to find work for myself just so that I can make ends meet. And it's been a struggle. It's been a lot of work trying to find work. And there's some interesting buildings that I built. Um... This is the world as it was just before Halloween, October 2011. Um, there's a big zombie in the distance. But for this, I wanted to just wander around, wander around my world, take a look at things for just kind of a nostalgic review, just to, to come back and see what it's see what's been going on. Let's not take that way down. Let's try going this other way over here. Yeah, let's head this way. And I also wanted to kind of have a bit of a, a subscriber special. I've got so many new subscribers. It's just amazing how many, how many new ones I've had. And in the time since I first or last, in the time since I last did an Arch Spore video, it's, I think I might have had two or three hundred subscribers back then, so there's almost ten times as many people watching my videos, and so I wanted to talk about what's going on around my channel, and what my plans are, and, you know, just apologize for being gone, and see where we can go in the future um in the next in the next few months um i i uh, i <laughs> me that guy that one wolf guy i had in march a lot of plans for my um wolf den world and i still want to continue with those plans for uh, Minecraft. Now this is an image 
of a castle that I built uh, when this was a server. And I might be able to, and I might be able to get to it today. If not, um, I don't know. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. I got a refrigerator. And this is my freezer, which I lined with snow, just for fun, because it, I think a white, a white bordered freezer looked better. There's a dining room. Oh, dining room. It's nice, big, open dining room, and then there's a, a dining patio outside with my floating nether castle. Let's take a brief, quick jaunt over there. Now, the nether castle was the last thing I built before I tried turning this into a server. Uh, the server turned out all right. We had lots of fun, but then um, a Minecraft update came out and I was able to recover the server from there. Um, I was running a lot of bucket plugins, uh, primarily uh, World Guard, in order to protect regions and prevent any griefing, so that I could open it up to a public to the public and just have a lot more people on it and not worry about any griefing. But when the new version of Minecraft came out, and I couldn't get any of the bucket plugins to work anymore. This is a giant manual reed farm. Uh, that's a lighthouse that actually works. I might take a minute to head up there and show you the little mechanism that I built way back when. Long time ago. Oops, there it is. This is a minecart clock. And the minecart runs around, oops. Let me hit it again, there we go. Minecart runs around and activates all of the redstone torches, which up here activate a large series of repeaters that just goes around and around and around. Um, you can kind of see it at night, but during the day it's hardly visible at all. And it doesn't prevent any mobs from spawning up here. <laughs> Whoa! Almost fell off. And here we are in the gardens for the mansion. Um, let me see if I can get close to it. There it is. That is a double helix tower of lava and water spinning around each other. Pretty pretty uh, cool looking and fun to build too. As long as you don't mind getting dizzy. Because when you're building it, you stand in the center and just kind of spin around and around and around. <laughs> um, there's my little bridge. This used to be Sunset Lagoon before they shifted the the sunrise and sunset. It used to set over there past the castle. So you could sit here in the lagoon and watch the sunset, but no, <clears throat> no, that doesn't work anymore. So what I wanted to do is kind of talk about the status of the channel and where what's been going on with me and where I plan on going in the next few months or so. Um, as I said before, I have been working extremely irregular hours um, to the point where I'd have no idea one day to the next if I was even going to be working or not. So it's just been hectically crazy. Oh, the pool's over here. Yeah. There's my private pool. With a cow in it! Not so private pool. Get out, cow. This is my... This my place. 
get, get, go on, go on. Yeah, through the door. Will you actually fit through the door? Ugh, no, you won't. Apparently, animals and stuff can't go through doors. Except that way. <laughs> it's crazy. Come on, get out. Stay out of my pool. Chew. What are we going to do next? Let's head over this way. No, let's take a look over here. There's something cool over here I wanted to show off. But with all of the crazy schedule scheduling of work and just no idea if I was going to even be able to make my bill, uh, make make the bills, make the rent, uh, pay for the car, because if I don't pay for the car, they show up and take it away. <laughs> don't want that to happen. Um, without a car, I have no way of getting to work, so other things start getting taken away, like the house and the internet and the phones. So that would be even less, less videos for you guys to see. I wouldn't even, I might be able to play the game, but there's no way I'd be able to upload or even watch YouTube without internet. So I do want to be able to keep paying for my internet. And YouTube is definitely not paying me to do all this fun stuff that hanging out with you guys and building all those cool things. Here's my Sphinx. <laughs> Looks like it's got glasses, <laughs> but it's supposed to be a big lion head. Built that a long time ago. Um, that's a this is an entrance to my major mine. Um, this is my, eh, I don't know, subscriber hotel, uh, viewer hotel, visitor visitor center, I guess. Um, not gonna go in there. Today might take a little trip through the lobby, which is not uh, complete. Um, I built a replica of this on Honey's Honey Plays server, and that's something else I've been doing. I've been hanging out with Honey Plays on her servers and in her streaming world, or whatever. Um, playing Dungeon Defenders with her and her family and hanging out on her live stream every once in a while. So that's something I've kind of been doing in the meantime. And there's actually a forest growing on top of the the hotel over here. Here is my library, which used to reach the world limit, but no longer does because I've recently converted to Anvil. I just it, it took me 10 minutes, I think, to run the conversion on this because as I was running it as a server, the world expanded quite a bit. It's, it's actually quite large. I think it's about 300 meg right now for the download. And there's a zombie that somebody built for Halloween. Um... Una Wild and Doodlebug, I believe, built that zombie right before the Halloween. Uh, Bleed built this tower. Bleed's Tower of Many Curses because he kept getting burnt by the lava and dying while he was building it. So that was a lot of fun. Um, Chico Mono, great, a great friend, built or started to build this museum. Uh, it's intended to be a block museum with all of the blocks that were currently in Minecraft at the time, back in to 1.08, I believe. <laughs> There's my... There's my crazy soul stand. 
And these days we have a lot more blocks to work with, so. That's that. Head over here to the Greeny Mini Melon Farm. Um, when we were first load testing the server that I had built, I actually physically built the server. It wasn't a rented server or anything like that. It was... I built it from scratch. I was trying to run a Linux OS on it. And we were load testing the server, so... We were... Set off a whole bunch of TNT to see if we could crash the server. And we built a giant melon head. <laughs> and Bleed called it the Greeny Meanie. And then we blew it up. And so this is a memorial to the Greeny Meanie. Um, and you know what? I still haven't even mentioned what I plan on doing with my uh, channel, have I? I've been going on and on and on about other stuff. So, can I get back up there? No, I can't. I'm just going to walk around the lake. So, like I was saying, I was ready to throw in the towel, call it quits, give up on the whole thing, but work has started picking up again. Um, I've actually got a big project that, out of the blue, called me up and said, Hey, we want you to come back and work for us. Hmm. At one point, we dug a great big hole in the side of this hill, and we were going to make some portals. We're going to make it a portal room for getting around. I don't think this backup... Because I, I reloaded a backup from the server. I don't think this is that backup. It was... This backup was 10, 28, 11. So it was right before Halloween. So we tried... I tried running the server up to the point when uh, 1.0 was, was released. There's another Halloween thing. So next, I'm going to head over to the river town. We're going to walk around the river town. And I'm going to try and t talk about some other stuff. Okay, here we are. The River Town. Um, took three of us an entire weekend to build all of this. Um, we already had all the materials put together and we had some pretty decent tools to dig everything out with. So it didn't take us very long to build at all. Um, uh, it was Una Wild, Bleed, and myself that built pretty much all of this in a few days so it was a lot of fun and pretty much the start of the server but I wanted to spend most of this video talking about my channel and where I want to take it and where it's where I've been where I'm going um, so work work was picking up and I recently checked back onto my channel and I noticed that it was doing amazingly well compared to where I left it. Actually, let's take out this other door. So, with shock and surprise, I decided that, uh, okay, I will, I will continue to try and work on my channel some more. 
Um, was playing Dungeon Defenders and recently Diablo 3. The last weekend I was playing Diablo 3 with a couple of friends from... Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, i got to use the other, <laughs> the other mouse button. That works. So I was playing with a couple of friends from England. And they decided to record some random Diablo 3 adventure. <laughs> uh, we, we've got a couple of level 60 characters now. So we decided that uh, we were going to try recording some Inferno runs. Trying to farm some elite enemies and get some better gear and equipment so we can farm more elite enemies and get better gear and equipment. You know, kind of a vicious circle. But I recorded uh, 40 minutes or so, 50 minutes. This is Bleeds crashed up on the side of a hill from a hurricane pirate ship that he built. So I recorded, maybe, and uh, well, I recorded a 40 minutes or so. Oops, flipped around too far, and then broke it into two episodes. And the first episode did really well. I was surprised. I thought after a month or so that my channel would have been dead, but it's not. It's actually doing quite well. Um, the big reason that I've discovered is that some videos I put out last year in the winter of last year for another video game that I've been waiting a while for, uh, Skyrim. I recorded some Skyrim videos, and apparently those have become the biggest hit on my channel. It's just amazing because when I was first recording those or first uploading those videos, I was getting almost no views and I was actually losing subs at the time. So I stopped. I completely stopped uploading Skyrim because of how horrible it was doing. You know, I'm not going to I'm definitely not going to upload videos that are causing my channel to get bad reviews and losing subs. It's just not worth it to me. You know, like why am I going to continue to keep doing this if every time I upload a video, I lose subs because of it? So I stopped. But... Now, I'm discovering that there are thousands of people that have gone, that are watching my old videos, and I'm getting dozens of requests every week to make more. So it looks like I'm going to start making some more Skyrim videos. Um, something happened to my computer in March of this year. Um, an interesting little glitch occurred. I don't know if it was a full-blown virus or what it was, but my computer wasn't the only one to suffer from this particular glitch. Um, what happened is the, uh, the boot drive um, re refused to be accessed or something. I'm not going to go into the technical details of it, but let's just say that the uh, it, it crashed and it wouldn't come back up. I couldn't get the computer to reboot at all. Um, I thought I had completely lost a hard drive with all of my vi recorded videos 
and save games and everything. I thought I'd completely lost everything on that hard drive. Well, it seems, it, it turns out that it was only a glitch and I was able to recover all the data. But what I did do was I went out and bought another hard drive. So now I have twice as much space. <laughs> I have my slightly not so great working hard drive that crashed on me. It's, I would consider it an unstable hard drive. So I hardly use it. But what happened is I had to reinstall all my video games and Skyrim was not one of them. So in order to make Skyrim videos, I have to reinstall the game, find, my... Well, that is weird. Why is it doing that? Okay. So I have to find my save files and reload all my saves from back in January, I guess? Let's just say it's a long time. <laughs> I haven't played Skyrim in a long time. But there's also a... What is it? There's also an update, a uh, DLC, um, an expansion to Skyrim called Dawn Guard, or Dawn's Guard or something like that. Uh, I saw some reviews for it, or not some reviews, some trailers, I guess is what you call them, at the, uh, I was in the game store today, which was right next to the shoe store where I was buying some new shoes today. Um, the heel of my right foot is Rango the Mexi Goblin. Gollum, Mexi Goblin. <laughs> okay. Uh, I forgot whose house this was. VIP section? I know this house belongs to somebody. Whose house was this? Maxian. That's who it is. This is Max's house. Maxian's house. There's a snowman out here. What was I doing? Just lost, lost and wandering around? Oh, there's the bridge. Yeah, the bridge. Yep, it's the 300 bridge. I wasn't sure if this was pre-300 or not. Here's my 300 bridge. Backwards. <laughs> Check that out. Big old 300. From the other side, it actually glows in the dark, and it looks really, really cool. Let me try this with my F8. Where is the F8 button? There it is. Whee! Oh man, it makes it feel so jerky though. <laughs> it's smooth, but jerky. Kind of strange. So, because Skyrim has become the most popular videos on my channel, I'm going to start recording Skyrim again. And I believe I'm going to see if I can find the Dawnstar or Dawn Guard, excuse me, the Dawn Guard uh, expansion and start doing some of that. Uh, so look forward to some more Skyrim from me. And where do I want to go next? I would like to t take a look at the, the underground first. While it's getting dark. I might even take a bit of a break and jump in a bed. But I'm going to run down here. This is the underworld. I forgot what we actually called it. Undercity or something like that. It's a giant cave. 
Um, I actually blasted out this cave for oh, one of the guys. I forget who it was. But he wanted to build an underground city, so I grabbed my giant horde of TNT and just kind of went to town. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And we built it in kind of this old Incan style with the new stone bricks. And we've got cobblestone roads and stone brick housing. <laughs> There is a testificate head face made out of brick. <laughs> oh, should stay on the. What really confused me is why he brought grass down here. But I don't know. Never understood there there would not be grass in an underground or dwarven style of city. Shh. Um, these giant columns here were actually Bleed's idea. Um, he started the first one. I don't... I think it was that one over there. He started those two. And the rest of us went ahead and tried to continue the design. This one is not complete. There's a little cap at the top. And there is a skylight. There's actually a big lake up there. Um, at, after I was done blasting this out with TNT, there were many holes in the lake. So it leaked all over the place. Um, where am I? Okay, let's head up this way. Um, there's a deep mine. <laughs> I'll show you guys the mine here in a minute. But this is a temple to some evil dark god of lava. <laughs> I actually dug out this room and built this whole thing myself. One of the few rooms that I actually built in this place. Um, during the Halloween event, somebody filled the wall just chock full of spawners. So if you came anywhere near this room, it would just fill with, I think, it, <laughs> I think it was silverfish. This place was just full of silverfish. You couldn't move. It was that bad. Um... Mr. Israel made this room. This is one of the the group builds that we did. Uh, the first one being the, the river town. This one being the second group build. I think this is Bleed's house in here. And he developed this mine section which you'll see I carried over into the deep mine. Let me go down there and I'll show it to you guys. Um, I wanted it to look like a an abandoned mine shaft. Enter at your own risk. Yeah. <laughs> With the uh, the abandoned mine shaft has fence posts and wooden supports at the top. This is just endless, not entirely endless, but there's a lot of side passages that some are dark. going off in all sorts of directions. I believe there's four or five layers to it. So it's easy to get lost down here. <laughs> the 
if if you have trouble navigating through normal abandoned mine shafts, this will definitely make it pretty confusing for you. But I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Hmm. There's the stairs. And there's actually a lot more to this than just this. There's three or four levels of city below this. Uh, mostly small houses and condos and stuff. Is it raining outside? It is. Um, I don't think there's any beds down here. I really don't. Nothing to make a bed out of there. Well, I'm pretty certain that there's a bed on the other side of the bridge, so if it's still dark night and pouring, I think I'll just fast forward to the bed. So that's the nearest bed I can think of. Nope, it's day, but it's boring. Hmm. I did want to head over to the next location. That's strange. I just stopped. Huh. That's really weird. It could be that we're now in a desert biome or something. Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm going to speed it up and get to the next location, and then we'll talk about some other ideas I have for my channel. Yes, guys, I do know where I'm going. I'm not completely lost. Oh. It's snowing in the desert. Very strange. Come on, load. Man, load! See? I knew I was going the right way. There's this little hut thing that somebody built. I think somebody was... sand here or something and for those of you who are wondering yes this world is available for download so I will be posting the link to where you guys can get a download of this there's also a, a Halloween version if you guys want to try that out the version that's up for download may not be this exact version. In fact, something appears to be missing. Indeed it is. Something is definitely missing here. Okay, I had built a house here at some point, but this particular version doesn't have it. This is where the 1.7 chunks ended and the 1.8 chunks began. So this is a chunk border right here. Um, there's one of those mushrooms I placed for a contest. People were supposed to find where I'd hidden 50 giant mushrooms. So if the mushroom is there, that means that the giant dome should still be there too. 
or maybe part of it's still there, I don't know. We'll have to swim out and see if we can find it. Look, Zara was here, and Una Wild was her. Okay. Um, it should be right over there. Or was it over there? Nope, I see it. There it is. It's barely coming into view. The underwater city that never got finished. <laughs> you know what? Just about all my projects seem to never get finished. Oh yeah, the castle did get finished. Nice. The castle's done. So, I wonder why the uh, house at the edge of the cliff didn't get done. Oh, and I can tell the second, the, or the third dome never got finished. It's still halfway uncovered. <laughs> so yeah, this is... Okay, there's the top. Not gonna be able to get in from up there. Let's try going down this way. Fresh breath of fresh air. Another air pocket. And no, there's no air here, or no entrance here. We'll just wander around until we find a way in. Whoop. I've created my ni myself a nice little underwater highway down here. Whoop. With reeds for doors. Here we go. Here's a way in. And this is what the dome looked like right after I removed all the water from the inside of it, which um, definitely take the time to look at the videos for building the dome. It's some pretty interesting stuff, guys. Um, this is a 60, I believe, I believe it's a 30 radius, 60 diameter dome, so it's 30 blocks up to there, with 5 or 6 blocks of water above that. So it's pretty deep under the ocean. Um, I'm definitely going to have to do some searching for a more recent, a more recent uh, backup, because I know I did a lot more in here. I planted a giant tree in the center, and I put some farms all the way around. So it was it was pretty well done. But this is as far as this particular backup is. It's not too bad. It still looks pretty cool from under here. Um, it looks better when the sun is up. <laughs> and pretty sure there's a bed somewhere. I think there was a spider spawner around here somewhere. This is my wall of furnaces. This is where I got the idea, I kind of got the idea to make um, my furnace room in the wolf den. Uh, does he have any wool? Yes, he's got wool. And some wood. You make a bed. Oh, he's got a farm down here, though. Interesting. And an upstairs. Okay. This was my chicken coop. Hey, chickens. Oh, I had some wool in there, too. Oh, no. I've got wool in my inventory. Duh. Alright, how do we get out of here? Back up this way. And then up here. There's a workbench here somewhere. 
the workbenches. There it is. One, two, three. Oops. Back over there. There we go. We got a bed. Yay. Let's just place it out here in the open. Somewhere. Here. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> nap time! Alright, nap time's over. <laughs> I wonder if it's still raining outside. Nope, there's the sun. Yeah, and they changed the east and the west on me again, so now I'm confused and lost. I don't know which way is which. Okay, there's the castle over there. So that means... Oh, wait. Duh. That way is the back to the mansion. So, um, a couple other things I wanted to do with my channel besides the Skyrim is to continue doing some Minecraft. Um, it seems that my raw episodes of me just straight building stuff, everything on camera builds. Um, it, I'm not going to do resource collection. I've already sh presented all of my mines and farms and where I get all of my resources from, so it shouldn't be too difficult for you guys to perceive where I'm getting all of my stuff from. I have tons of farms, so I'm not going to be doing um, mining and stuff in my Minecraft videos. What I am going to do is I have a large project planned. I've laid out a plot of land for it, and it's going to be probably my second, or, well, it's going to be my largest construction done in single player. This is a multiplayer server construction. Um, at least a dozen people helped me build this thing, but in single player, this project's going to probably be the largest single building that I have ever made from the ground up. Legit. <laughs> I've built a lot of things that have been pretty big, but um, I built this massively huge hotel for Honey Plays, um, but I used a lot of world edit commands to build it. Um, I built, uh, it's a hotel with, uh, I, you know, four or five floors. I think I put in four or five floors uh, by myself. I had some help from a few other people. Uh, Cerberus, UK, Vamp, uh, Dawn Lit, I believe, which is one of uh, Honey's daughters. Sky might have helped too, I don't remember. Because they were both playing the same character on the same computer, and it was kind of confusing to tell who was who. <laughs> kind of. As long as they don't, you know, if they didn't say who they were, you'd be confused. But they kind of helped me with the hotel. And then I used World Edit to copy that hotel to another map, and then duplicate it. Um, the hotel is the same shape as the one I have back in the central area of town, of this world, where my mansion is. It's a, it's a quarter circle, kind of like the Bellagio, I believe, in Las Vegas. Kind of where I got the idea for it. So I made a quarter circle, and then on Honey Server, I copied it and rotated it four times, so it actually makes a complete circle. Um, not sure if I'm going to post that map for download or not. It was intended as a UHC challenge. So what it also has is a great big giant fence all the way around, around 500 
So 500 blocks from the center, if you walk in any direction, you'll find a giant 30 meter high fence. It's huge. But it was fun to do. So I'm not sure if I'm going to or offer that up for download or not. I might. But what I wanted to talk about, and I keep getting distracted, is the huge project I have planned to start another raw series and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and start recording that tomorrow morning so I'm going to try and start recording it tomorrow morning and see if I can fill up a hard drive with it what is up with those squids they're doing weird stuff um, something else I wanted to do is some some tutorials I know a lot of my viewers like watching tutorials. Um, Minecraft tutorials being the most tutorials that I have. Um, I've got a plan for... I know a lot of people look for redstone tutorials when they're looking for Minecraft tutorials. But something I've never seen out there are build tutorials. And... A friend of mine, when he first came on the server, he asked me to build, or asked me how to build something like an egg. And I know that it, there are, if there are any at all, there are very few tutorials on how to build s certain shapes in Minecraft, like a dome. How do you build a dome in Minecraft? It took me a while to learn how to build a dome. Um, it took me a long time to figure out how to build a circle. And I know there's a ton of people that say, use a program, use a program, use a program. Um, I started just laying out circles, um, just kind of guess guesswork at building my first circle, which was the lighthouse that I showed you a while ago. Back at the beginning of this episode, I showed you guys a lighthouse. That was my first guess at how to build a circle in Minecraft. Um, this dome, I actually used Microsoft Paint to draw a circle and then look at the grid squares, the one pixel squares that it actually generated after drawing the circle. And the ceiling is dripping. Oh man, I totally forgot that that was going to happen here. <laughs> the ceiling is dripping. No! I think if I ever build one of these again, I'm going to have to make it double thick. Double thick glass, and that's a lot of glass. I spent a long time making all this glass. That's what those furnaces were down there for. So, what I want to... What I'm trying to say is that I want to make some tutorials on how to build certain shapes and certain buildings in Minecraft, um, specifically for new players. This It's definitely not going to be an advanced series of tutorials. It's going to be beginners only. <laughs> if you're already an advanced builder, some of, this, some of the builds that... that I show off or oh that's so easy to do yeah they're really easy to do after you've already done them a couple of times like this dome I've done so many domes now I can do domes in my sleep it's really easy for me to do domes but for a brand new player someone who's never played Minecraft before it's how do you build that that is so amazing I know I like building amazing stuff but I want to show pe other people how to do the same thing. How to build these domes underwater. Um, maybe not so much underwater, but how to build domes, how to build towers, how to build, how to build a house. I mean, just really, really basic stuff. So that's some of what I want to do with Minecraft, uh, with my channel. I want to do uh, Minecraft tutorials. I want to do some. I want to start getting back into Skyrim. Um, I want to get back into my Let's Play of Minecraft with my Wolf Den. Um, 
I think the raw series is going to kind of replace that. I'm going to just start doing some huge builds and just record them straight through beginning to finish, beginning to end or whatever, furnishings included. Um, I also have some video ideas for um, Dungeon Defenders. There's uh, a, a new class that recently got introduced maybe a month or a month and a half ago. It's called the Summoner. Um, there's a there's a, a way to use a Summoner that I want to make a video out of and show people. I'm pretty sure it's already been videoed to death by now. Um, I probably would have been better if I would made the videos a couple of months ago when the Summoner actually came out. <laughs> But I wasn't really up to making videos at the time, and I was still in that, do I want to quit, do I want to keep doing it, kind of not sure where I was going with my channel. So now that I've decided that I'm definitely going to get back into the channel and start focusing on it again, um, I'd like to make some of those videos. And that brings me to my final, my final point, is I've hit... 2,000 viewers, 2,000 subscribers, and the channel is not slowing down. If I were, if I continue putting out Skyrim and I continue to put out Minecraft and maybe throw in uh, Diablo 3 every once in a while, and I just, if, if I keep at it and I stay focused, I know my channel is not going to stop. It's not going to slow down. It's just going to keep growing. And I really need to start looking into uh, partnerships. Um, the reason I want to get partnerships is tch, not for the money. There's tch, you can't make a or I there's no way I can make a living off of a partnership right now. Um, Etho and Doc M are not making a living off of it, and they have you know a ridiculous or quite a bit more subscribers than I do. They have a lot more subscribers than I do, and they've been partnered for at least a year. So, and I know they're not making a living off of Minecraft yet. Um, so, there's no way I'd be able to do it either. It's just, right now it's just something fun for me to do, and I'm realizing how much everybody likes watching my stuff, so I want to keep doing it, and I want to be able to give you guys better quality videos, better content, um, just better stuff all around, you know, better videos, and there's a lot of nice features that you can only get as a partner, or as, yeah, as a YouTube partner, so if I want to start using those features, I need to apply for these partnerships, and there's a lot of different, uh, a lot of other partnerships other than just the straight YouTube one. So I've been looking around and doing some research. So I just wanted to give you guys a head up, heads up, that I'm gonna, you know, I'm working towards getting a partnership so that I can bring you guys better videos, bring you guys better content. I definitely want to go for the scheduled uploading so I can record more videos and upload more videos but not have it such so overwhelming that you guys can't keep up. Um, you know, the banners and all that good stuff, you know, just means that you guys get better content. But the downside is, is that the videos are going to start getting ads on them. Um, I'll keep you guys informed if that, you know, if and when that happens. But that's stuff that I gotta work work on doing. Um, the world is available for download, so feel free to download it and play it as much as you want. Make a server out of it. It's it's out there, so go ahead and feel free to do what you guys uh, do, whatever you want with it. Um, but I'm not gonna be making any more LPs out of the world of Arch Sport, as fun as it was. I have another world. I have the Wolf Den, and I have other games that I'm going to be playing, um, Skyrim and Diablo and 
maybe some more dungeon defenders. I'm not sure. We'll see how my work schedule goes. So this is One Wolf saying thanks for watching. Um, have a good night. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.